Nowadays, there seems to be a microphone for any rhyme or reason. With all the different types of microphones out there, it's important to choose the best microphone for your application. Fortunately for you, Mackie's Element series was created to cover the basics for the majority of audio applications out there. First up, we have the EM89D, a dynamic microphone that's perfect for live sound applications. Yes, even your secret karaoke parties with family and friends. It's great for rejecting feedback and can handle high SPL levels, whether you have a soft, quiet voice, or if you want to scream your head off, the EM89D can handle the abuse. You could hammer nails with this mic, but we don't recommend you try that at home. Are you like Dylon and you spit hot fire? Well, the EM91C large diaphragm condenser microphone will pick up the most intricate details of your recording. All condenser microphones have circuitry in them that allows them to work with standard microphone inputs. But that circuitry requires 48 volts of phantom power to function. You'll need an interface or a mixer that has phantom power capabilities to use a condenser mic. Now you can check out our recent video to learn about getting that setup working. Condenser microphones are going to have a larger frequency response compared to a dynamic microphone and that's why they're great for studio recording. If you're looking for crisp, clear, and clean vocals, this is a testament to this element. the EM91C is an excellent option. Now if all that sounds like too much work, then I've got some good news for you. Are you making podcasts or doing voiceovers like me? Well, maybe you're a creator who works on the go. Well, the EM-USB comes with everything you need in one package. It's a portable bus-powered USB condenser microphone that has a built-in preamp and headphone jack with dedicated level controls built on the front of the mic. It also comes with a handy mute button on the front for easy access. This is the perfect mic that is quick and easy to set up. From dynamic, condenser to USB microphones, Mackie's your one-stop shop for all your microphone needs. Thanks for watching. You can find all this gear and more at Mackie.com. If you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe. Keep up with all the latest Mackie videos. We would love to see your setup, post your pics and videos using the hashtag made on Mackie. This is a testament to this element. It's evident that it's excellent. Made on Mackie. Yeah, make yourself happy. Yeah, try out this mic. Get it done right. Woo. Alright, we are back, back guys. again. <laughs> <laughs> and today we are back again. Back uh, again. Even our MCO is going on. Yeah. Today over first here day. Pair up. We already yeah. started. It's the first day, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and we actually thought that uh, one of the really good topics that we can bring during this uh, MCO time for y'all would be for those of you who want to actually be doing your own recording and things like that at home. Mm -hmm. What mic should you choose? Yes. What mic? What mic, right? Okay. So, uh, specifically today, hey, Norish. Hi. Thanks for watching, yeah? <laughs> so, yeah, specifically for today, uh, we actually have a wide range of mics uh, behind us and what we are using in front of us, in fact, also. So, uh, in general, what uh, is in front of Max is actually a condenser. condenser mic. And this is specifically the EM91C. Now, as you can see in the video of the intro just yeah. now. This is a, what you call a, a large diaphragm condenser microphone. Mm -hmm. And what I'm using is the EM89D, which is a dynamic microphone, all right? But before we go on, don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the channel, all right? Hit the notification so you get notified. We'll yep. be doing this daily. We are doing daily live streams and we're bringing more and more contents for you, all right? So let's uh, dive straight into the topic mm -hmm, of today's mm -hmm. discussion. So condenser or dynamic um shall we start with which one first all right let's start with probably a dynamic okay dynamic. when you talk about dynamic microphones there are a wide range of dynamic microphones mm -hmm. all right uh, you have those which are designed for your vocals you have some which are designed for instruments you have some and for vocals uh, like voice podcasts podcast some, yeah. setups okay so when you talk about specific dynamic microphones you are actually talking about a type of microphone that runs off uh 
standard your standard uh, inputs inputs and from sound cards to audio yeah, interfaces, yeah, to audio interfaces. Mm-hmm. you don't need a, what we call phantom like power word. for it so the moment you have a microphone that doesn't use phantom power you know that that's a dynamic microphone yes simple straightforward <laughs> because yeah that also need to be addressed because some dynamic mic they also shape as like a condenser yes. microphone shapes not all like like a handheld normal mm-hmm. they do some comes with like with a condenser mic designs if uh, for those of you who know the uh, Zoom, mm, yes, the Zoom, the, the Zoom podcast, podcast pack. pack, okay, those ones it looks like a dyna- uh, condenser microphone, but it's actually, actually a dynamic. dynamic. It's a podcasting yeah. dynamic microphone. All right, we don't have that here, but uh, because we are actually going to be talking more on the detail of what uh, you would want to choose and yeah. your different applications for it. So uh, back again to dynamic microphones. Uh, in general, the dynamic microphones have a f- quite a few types of. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, capsules inside it, mm-hmm. and uh, in general, you have those which use a ceramic magnet or a di- neodymium magnet. Ne- yeah. Okay. The neodymium magnets are stronger magnets, hence they are much more sensitive and more heavy and more heavier. <laughs> uh, ceramic microphones are your general microphones that you actually find in most places. Yeah. So, what is the advantage of having a dynamic microphone? Mm. All right. So. What I have in front of me is a dynamic microphone and uh, the good part about a dynamic microphone is how you can use it and also eliminate sounds that should come from around it. Like yeah. for example, I'm talking here, the moment I go to the side, you'll barely hear me on this side. Yes. Right? So on either side of it, the sound's really soft and it's only focusing on what I'll be talking. Yeah. So this is really good for live uh, performance, performance yeah. concerts. or concerts or even doing podcasts, live Pod- streams yeah, like yeah. this. In a place where there is a bit of a noise, mm-hmm. you're, you don't have a treated room, mm-hmm. you have uh, traffic going on outside, things like that. Yeah. Yes, that's where this one comes in. And on top of that, if let's say you're doing uh, vocals on stage, yeah, you have stage, other yes. instruments and you and have all your the speakers, the speakers, monitors, all blasting. Monitors, yeah, all there blowing itself yeah. off. This will make sure that you don't get feedback. Yes, yes. You, of course, you turn the gain fully up, it's going to feedback. Yeah, it's true. But... Uh, at the right settings, you'll actually be able to use this mm-hmm. in a very, very easy way. That's a good thing about a dynamic because you doesn't like need, really need to crank the the gain up. Mm-hmm. You can just put it like low because it's so directional. You can just like get it real close. Mm. Yeah, so and that's like a really like a good thing about good dynamic. Thing about yeah. uh, but in general, mm-hmm. uh, the sound that comes from a dynamic is a bit more. Uh, I would say a bit more 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 warm bassy sound, each. yes, yeah, bassier yeah. sound, and that is in specifically because of the type of uh, the di- capsule yes. that's being used inside it. Uh, it's not a power capsule, mm-hmm. so it uh, generates its own uh, magnetic fields, yeah. and that is what uh, sends the signal over. Yeah, yep. All right. So when we talk about dynamics, um, we actually have uh, this, of course, the Mackie uh, mm-hmm. EM ninety one ninety eight D which is a 89D, sorry. It's a really awesome mic. And uh, specifically, it's called a dynamic vocal mic. And yes. uh, this is really designed for you to use for your vocals. Instruments. But also, you can use it for your instruments record. yeah. and recording. And when you talk about instruments, uh, I mean, like, you can, if you're a harmonica player, you can use this. If you are thinking of, like, micing an uh, amp, yeah, possibly. Yeah, amp. Micing yes, an amp, yes. possibly, yeah. This will come in really handy for that. Okay, so and also they do provide a quite a good, yes, nice yes. carrying bag, and they do also the mm. they provide the cables itself, the XLR cables. Hey, Rice, thanks for joining us, man. And we have a comment from Norish. Love the EM ninety eighty nine Ds. Yes, same for me. <laughs> this is this is my go to mic actually. Uh, when I'm doing yeah, a lot if of you things. notice, <laughs> yeah. even the past few streams. Yeah, the past few <laughs> streams, and uh, we've been actually using the. 89D. Thanks, mm-hmm. Norish, for joining us. Yeah, so yeah. Um, on top of that, uh, we also have from other brands like we yeah. have the Samsons. Samsons. Specifically, the uh, Q8X. The Q8X. This is another one which uses a neodymium uh, mm-hmm. magnet and real heavy guy. Solid, solid <laughs> yeah. So solid. So <laughs> when you talk about dynamics in general, hmm. they are not uh, very pricey. Yeah, true. Uh, they are priced really affordable. Yeah, from like real affordable. Yes. To like expensive. Expensive is not really expensive yeah. in the if you consider 
what a condenser yeah, might yeah, go true, for, true, true. right? So that is what you look at in a uh, dynamic. Mm-hmm. Now, as we come for condenser mics, oh, it's like a way different category right now. Yes, and uh, if you guys can hear, uh, based on this podcast itself. Mm-hmm. The voice that's coming from uh, My? Max, yeah, is so is much more crisp and clear, yeah. right? That is because of a condenser, condenser mic. Yes, and this is something that a lot of people would like to use in studios. Yeah, studios recording vocals because they are like super sensitive. Mm-hmm. The diaphragm of a, a condenser, mm-hmm. which I can lean back and still can capture my voice, and I can. But this one is a cardioid, right? so I can can't go it's, too far. Of it's it. <laughs> yeah. You have like a, a good view uh, here, mm. but yeah, condenser, yeah, they do sound a lot. They they can capture more detail. The graph of it is like way higher than the dynamic, mm-hmm. and uh, they are more like like the clarity is way higher, and the sound of it is like more balanced. Mm. And it's not only like a like as warm as a dynamic. Mm-hmm. So when you say capture like artists, the vocals. It's a more yeah in studio use. Mm. It's when you're doing recording, which is more how say can consider more ideal for it. Yeah, and uh, to show in a very easy way, mm. right? When you rub your fingers together, right? Okay, I rub it here, and you do it there. See that? You can barely hear it here. It's, it's really clear there. Yeah, that is, that is what a power of a dime. A uh, condenser mic. Yeah, yeah that, that's quite a dynamic. Yeah, yeah. A condenser, and yeah, they can, you can get up. But the one of the disadvantage of it is you can't go like too loud when it's too up close. It will start like distorting a little bit, which, I uh, yes. dynamic rarely happens because you can turn the gain low. And this one, if you turn it too low, you can't really get too close. Yeah, like, really. Then again, you have to understand, right? Hmm. A condenser mic. When you're doing your recording on condenser mics, if you all have seen pictures of people doing vocal recording yeah, in, yeah, studios, in the studios, they are not standing like all the way up yeah. close at the mic. They yeah, are it's actually, like a few inches away. Yeah, and like you also have a pop, pop filter, filter in between. It's like quite quite yes. far of a distance. So these things is what helps you to get that real crisp, clean studio sound. Mm-hmm. And in fact, actually, podcasters like to use uh, condenser mics also. A lot mm-hmm. of them, uh, gamers. Yeah, gamers, yes, definitely. They, they love to use uh, condenser mics because mm. when you're gaming, you're not pointed directly at the mic. Yeah, true. Right? Yeah, true, yeah. The mic will be at a, off at an angle. Off somewhere. And then right. you are going to be gaming, gaming. and you're talking at the yeah. same time. So a dynamic mic would have to be intrusive right in, right front, in front of, of you, yeah. which where a condenser mic like that would actually mm-hmm. come side here. It's like, yeah, can come in handy because if you're like a streamer or a gamer, you wouldn't want to get like a mic up close and block your face. Yes. So that's where the condenser come to play. Mm-hmm. And they are real sensitive. Mm-hmm. Like, you can get up close like this. <laughs> and if I talk, you can also clean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you can go and do some ASMR. <laughs> <things like that. laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> Which is amazing, right? Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello. Uh, okay, <laughs> this is actually, my wife is on watching this. All right, thanks, <laughs> Rachel. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> okay, so uh, when you're talking about this... Uh, Condenser mics, mm-hmm. all right. Mm-hmm. The slight downside about it would be the sensitivity, also, yeah, yeah, because yeah. you need to have a proper room, mm-hmm. say, like a like a real setup, setup, very treated, not, uh, and where you, you, the sound levels are low, you yes, don't have much outside, of, outside noise outside coming noises. in. Yeah, that's where it's like more. It's like you need to take in consideration. Mm. Really. So if I was going to use a condenser mic mm-hmm. to let's say record vocals yeah. beside the beach. Not going to work. No, definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> right? It's not yeah. going to work. Just the wave uh, can cover your voice already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that is uh, the thing. You need to be in a room, in your studio. Mm-hmm. But once you have that kind of setup, you are guaranteed an amazing voice. Oh, definitely. Okay? Like, I bet it's like 99.99% all the artists uses the condenser to record their vocals in their yeah. song. But that's also something that yeah, even though it's amazing, but you can't really like use a condenser in a concert. No, no, If no, not, no. you get like ringing sound, blow all your freaking speakers off already yes. because it's so sensitive or the monitors itself might catch it and get uh, the feedback itself. Mm-hmm. So, so where this the dynamic comes to play. 
Yep, we have a comment from Mr. Rice that hmm. 91C is great for streaming gamer on Twitch. Yeah, yes, streaming as a uh, yeah. mentioned just now. Uh, yeah. It really, really good for that. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Streamers, you want, as streamers. you mentioned, put it aside and... Let it do its Let job. It do yeah. <laughs> I can get real far back and can still hear me on yeah, the left yeah. side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like nearly one hand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, and that yeah. is that is the amazing part about condensers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Ko Hao Sun, all right, thank you Give for it joining like. us. <laughs> it's uh, great to have you with us mm. uh, if you all have any questions please do throw the questions at us and yeah. we will Try. continue to answer your mm-hmm. questions yeah oh yeah also we need to mention that like the types of the the condenser they have like the mm. cardoid the figure yes, 8 yes correct yeah. this okay. one is a cardoid this is a cardoid condenser the uh, 91C would actually be a cardoid means yeah. that so everything yeah. is in the front in the shape of a heart yeah. so it's all over here so you do get some from the sides a little bit a little bit but the backs will be definitely silent, right? Yeah, so is that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. That's a small example. Yep. And uh, talking about condenser mics, mm-hmm. uh, when you talk about dynamics, you talk about the type of uh, capsule. Capsule. But when you talk about condensers, mm-hmm. you also have what you call... A pencil. A pencil condenser mic. Mm-hmm. Uh, pencil condenser mics are considered what you call uh, small diaphragm condensers. All right, and they're uh, way, way, way more sensitive. Yeah, they're very yeah. sensitive also. Uh, but ouch, ow! <laughs> but what is good about a pencil uh, condenser Condense. mic? This is amazing if you're going to do your recording for, like, example, your acoustic guitar. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You acoustic. want to instead of plugging in the acoustic guitar, you want to record, record. that amazing acoustic like uh, a real sound. acoustic sound. The body and mm-hmm. the strings, especially yeah. your fingers moving over the frets. Yes, and yes, yes, like that. yes, yes, true. This will be able to catch it because mm-hmm. you can actually uh, direct it to your specific places yeah. and it's small. Another good use for this kind of small uh, pencil condensers, actually, some of you might have seen, if you all have gone for concerts, you'll actually see... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, they do, they do. They the put top, it on the top of on the, the top stage. Of the, yeah, 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 yeah. That yes. is to catch the audience. Yes, yeah, true. Right? That is where um, this kind of pencil condensers come in. Oh, also some um, the video creators, they do use like a condenser, right? They just place it there yep. and have a conversation. Mm-hmm. So they doesn't need like the boom mic right? and the yes. sound, right? They just put it there and Correct. it's like catch it. To me, it's like, it sounds more like realistic. It's like a VR kind of setup. Like the if you have is, two, they put it like yes. one on the left, one on the right. One on the right. Yeah. You get your stereo effect. Oh, yeah, yeah. Recording. Yes, yes, yes. And you could use that. So check these guys out too. Mm-hmm. But... We have one uh, mic which is actually in between both of these. Yes. <laughs> I think you might see this in the past live streams also. Yes, we have used this before. For my voice because mm-hmm. I'm not that loud. I can't speak that loud. <laughs> so it looks like a handheld. It looks like a dynamic. But it's actually a condenser. Okay, we have a comment from Mr. Ko Hao Soon. Mm. I use it to capture choir. Oh, very, very true. Yeah, very very correct. Yeah. The, the pencil condenser mics are really good for capturing choirs, very or good group option. sounds. Oh, yes, yeah, they do. Uh, thanks for mentioning that. Yes, um, when you have a big group, mm-hmm. uh, which you want to record, uh, maybe their voice capture mm-hmm. their sounds. Yes, the Definitely, pencil condensers yeah. really uh, play a good role because <laughs> they are small. You, they are small, portable, mm. and they are sensitive. Mm-hmm. Sounds great, and you can actually put them anywhere you want. Oh yeah, definitely. So. Doesn't it's take really up so much inputs. Yeah. <laughs> if you like 10 microphones. Yeah, if you have inputs. like 10 people singing, yeah. you want to put 10 dynamic microphones. Also, some they use the pencil condenser, they record drummers, right? Mm-hmm. They have the glass wall yes, in front correct. with the symbols or that. Yes, yeah, yeah. correct. That's another place you'll actually find pencil condensers. Oh, uh, yeah. When you're micing up drum kits, uh, the overhead mics on the drum kits mm-hmm. where you use to uh, catch the symbols and things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's where you have the. Uh, pencil condensers coming in also. But do you like recommend miking them using co- pencil? Uh, overhead, the uh, overhead, yes. yes. Yeah. But if not putting the, it directly at, at the, the at the kicks or oh, at the drums yeah, or yeah. anything. If you put it at the amp, I also... Amps, yes, you can. Mm-hmm. You can use it for uh, miking uh, amplifiers, mm-hmm. uh, off-axis and on-axis miking oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. things like that. Yeah. But then again, you might want to use a dynamic for doing for, that yeah, better definitely. because of the... Uh, level that you can 
day. Get, yeah, it might um, get once on you have amp and peak. you're playing it loud, yeah, it might peak. It'll peak mm-hmm. on the condensers, but the dynamics will be able to handle that. And right. dynamics can capture more of the low end of the amp. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, for the best is for like recording acoustic sessions. Acoustic using, sessions, yeah, vo- uh, group vocals, group vocals drums, or drummers, yes. maybe some orchestras. Oh, another good, another good one would actually be uh, uh, what we call traditional instruments. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, when you talk about traditional instruments, I'm talking about some of the uh, Chinese traditional instruments, the mm-hmm. guchens, mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. things like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, these guys would be really good for that. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm, so, yeah, right. back to the next part of it, which is this guy. Um, this but guy in is in between mm-hmm. both, right? This guy is a condenser mic, but it's a handheld vocal condenser mic. It's shit like a dynamic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. This uh, dy- uh, condenser mic actually is very focused. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, so it works how a condenser, a dynamic, a dynamic mic works, works, but with the sensitivity of a condenser mic, mm-hmm. right? So this one actually can be used in your uh, Pod- podcast, podcast also. also, and yeah. also for things like on stage. This yeah, this the, can be yeah, used this on stage. Is, yeah, <laughs> this one is the only condenser they can use on stage. Are yeah. this the call like the the V shape? Yeah, they are, the they're, they're considered what we call a real V shape out the front yeah. here. It's not so much a cardoid. Uh, yeah. If you say cardoid, it's, it's then you like do a get a bit shape. on the sides, but mm-hmm. it's more focused on the on front. The, yeah. All right. So, if, like for streamers, I don't really also recommend. I still prefer them using yes, this kind correct. of. Yeah, this one is a. As I think it, uh, past stream you can see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's on my side because I'm not as loud as Ben, <laughs> so I definitely need a condenser mm-hmm. like now also. <laughs> So yeah, mm-hmm. that is the uh, that is pretty much what we talk about when it comes to condensers. Yeah, true. So uh, we actually have another thing, which is actually the pack. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You could actually get the um, mics depending on the producer pack or the Mackie uh, packs which you want to get. Yeah, it actually was a session yesterday. Yesterday, if you by Rice and Norish. Yeah, yeah, they do that. It's quite, mm. it's it's quite interesting. Good, uh, yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. Good, uh, it's a really good one. Yeah. Check that out too, guys. Uh, yesterday's live stream where uh, they actually show the different sets and mm-hmm. different type of mics that come mm-hmm. with it. Mm-hmm. All right. The next one is actually this one, which is the Samsung's uh, Studio Condenser Mic Set with the SR850 headphones. Mm. So this one actually uses a CO1 uh, condenser mic. Yeah, Would you mind uh, taking out the yeah. mic for us then? So this is also another uh, condenser mic by Samson. So if you guys are looking to start up a very simple setup, this is what you want to look at. Like, moment of silence. <laughs> Thank you for the ASMR, bro. Yep. <laughs> no problem. So uh, in general, any condenser mics uh, will have to run off the 48-volt uh, Fan the power to power the circuitry inside. Really important. Really make sure that your sound card or the audio interface that has a phantom power. Because yes. I, I do face that situation. Like yesterday, mm-hmm. customer came in like asking, looking for microphones and she said she already have a sound card. Mm. I was like, you, you have any phantom power for that? Uh, she's like, no, not sure. Mm. So I can't really like only recommend her the dynamics which yes, is this one that's the safest but, way to go yeah but she's like she don't want it because she wants something like this mm. where it doesn't something cover her face and holding it in mm. and she wants it like, like a DJ style hanging mm. upside down and she she can't really understand like does it have random power or not so that is a really need to keep in mind if mm-hmm. you want to purchase any mic for like a dynamic or mm. a, a condenser like really make sure that before you get it because there's a lot of like a sound card audio interface they claim to have uh, the p- phantom power but really need to check it's like a 48 v. they normally write it as phantom power yeah, or off. what do you call plus 48 volt yes plus on. 48 yeah all right Make this sure is that. another point that uh, we need to mention right mm-hmm. when you're using dynamic mics you can actually use a dynamic mic with a quarter inch yeah jack yeah, yeah but you cannot use a condenser mic with a quarter inch jack yeah right so xlr you have to use the xlr which is your three pin mm-hmm uh, to your three pin. It's XLR. either XLR or USB. <laughs> or USB. Or That's USB. the only way to go yeah. for condenser mics. Yeah, the the sound card she gives also is a three and a half. Uh, it's not even quarter inch. So I was like, mm, this one definitely doesn't so, have any. Fender. Yes. Keep That's, in mind. Keep in mind. Keep yeah. in mind that, all right, guys, when you're looking out at mics, do keep in mind that your audio interface, your sound cards, mm-hmm. needs to have a uh, forty-eight volts, and you must have your 
quarter inch Quart- XLR. Yeah, XLR. Sorry, XLR. Uh, input. Correct, input. Yeah. You can't have your quarter inch. If mm-hmm. you have quarter inch inputs, you must use a, uh, a dynamic. dynamic. Yeah, and don't be fooled because there's a lot of uh, dynamic mic that shape in the condenser. Mm. So you really need to keep in mind of that. Okay. Yeah. So back to this again. Um, most condenser mics uh, have a light on it actually to mm-hmm. show whether it's you have it. powered or not. Yeah. Um, that does not actually. Yeah, it doesn't. All right. Uh, this, however, has. But you can check here. <laughs> yeah, but you can check whether the signal is coming. Yeah, in. yeah. Oh, so, they come with the headphone. The yeah, open these back. guys come with the open back headphones. Yes. Uh, if you watched our the previous he- previous the previous previous episodes, uh, we actually had one on headphones also, and uh, we are talking about these guys, and this one actually is the SR. Oh man, <laughs> it's <laughs> the, the uh, SR eight fifties. We've yeah. talked about this before, mm-hmm. so uh, we'll be going into that. But if you guys are interested. Do Please check out our previous out. episodes, right? So, uh, the main thing that uh, we would like to bring today is which is better, a condenser or a dynamic? Can each have their own place. They Anything have their own place. Their Correct. Yeah. Right? That's the thing that uh, we had customers who asked us, uh, so, is it better if I use a dynamic or is mm-hmm. it better if I use a condenser? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, kind of it really depends. Can, yeah, it like depends. What occasion you use it? Like if mm. you're using like live performing karaoke, mm-hmm. this one. That this. Dyna- yes. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be like lock in a small room, mm-hmm. speakers here, and using like a condenser and blasting music. Mm. You will like feedback. So like based on what occasion, like performing, karaoke or just like podcast or that, can simple use podcast, a, a yes, simple yeah can do. A dynamic. If it's a condenser, it will be recording vocals. vocals. Uh, game streaming. Game streaming. Uh, given that you have a good room for yeah, yeah, game. yeah. Also, you need to keep in mind that it's a really need to be sensitive a treated mic. room. Yes. Yeah, it's a really sensitive mic. Either, As you can uh, hear isolated. just now, mm. <laughs> yeah, some truck just passed by. <laughs> I know it's MCO, but there seems to be still some. Uh, it is. Going on around here. <laughs> but uh, with that, uh, it's actually uh, I love the sound of a condenser mic. Um, mm-hmm. frankly, you, you for do? ASMR. Oh. Yes, Mr. Yen Long. Oh, yes. Uh, the condenser mics are really, really good for doing ASMRs. As, uh, yes, Mike, it's true. <laughs> it's a very, very as good. As Max did, yeah. It's really <laughs> Something cool. else do we have? <laughs> oh, maybe a car keys. Mm. It's like, you see, it's a really... You can catch every single detail of sound. Yeah. So, for ASMRs, go for the condensers. You Man. will, you will <laughs> yeah. really, really uh, be able to catch all the details for your... Uh, Sounds. Make right? sure it's uh, also it's a treated room. That's not the bike kind of room, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> mm. But uh, then again, mm-hmm. the uh, if you have a pretty good uh, dynamic mic yeah. and those that have a good uh, what called capsule, which is also uh, the like the example the neodymium Neo uh, capsules, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. dynamic mics, you could pull off most of the uh, mm-hmm. things that you want to do uh, and sound very close to a condenser mic mm-hmm. like to be frank uh i like both mm-hmm. condenser and dy- dynamic but i'm like kind of recently i'm really into uh podcast so i'm like moving towards the dynamic mic sound mm. because uh, the maybe the one i listen is using a dynamic but the sound of it is like i really like like the low end they have and mm. the detail uh, with the treated room the dynamic really like comes to play but if you really, really like have a really good treated room, a condenser is no problem. You can just turn the EQ it, turn the bass up, the lows and the mids. It will kind of sound like a bit more low end. You and mean the dynamic? Uh, I mean the condenser. You mean the condenser? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I, I can't decide which one because I do love the dynamic sound. Mm. Yeah. So, so yeah, guys, um, if you guys ever uh, are in the term of looking for a good microphone, mm-hmm. Uh, do take out tips and all that we yeah. have given you so far. Really this would really be a handy uh, tool, actually, mm-hmm. for you to decide what kind of a microphone would you be using or useful for you in yeah. your application. Usually, yes. That also, like, yeah, the, what the use case of it. Like, when you're recording vocals, it's, like, better to pick a condenser. Mm-hmm. Like, I couldn't stretch that enough because they really can, like, I'll say, capture more detail and it has the more clarity. Mm-hmm. I'm trying not to breathe using my nose because it would be sound nasty. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
So yeah, like if I'm a rapper spitting bars, you you wouldn't be like wanting to like holding this here, mm. like, using the condenser to like spitting bars here. <laughs> so and uh, just to keep in mind, hmm. if you're using a condenser, uh, with a uh, sufficient amount distance, yeah, you're good. If, if you're, you're going to newer, newer, you might need a pop, pop filter, filter to come yeah. in. Yeah, if not, it would be nasty. Yeah, It'll and like, uh, <laughs> so guys. Um, with that, mm-hmm. don't forget to check out our live stream tomorrow. Tomo- yeah. Yes, tomorrow we have will be a, a big a one. Very special <laughs> setup actually yeah, by yeah. our KL team. They are actually mm-hmm. working really hard for tomorrow's setup. Mm-hmm. We actually have Mr. Francis who is coming in to play. Uh, check out the cogs. Oh, the digital piano. Digital pianos <laughs> and all are there. So, yeah. guys, if you guys are interested for that, mm-hmm. join us on our live stream tomorrow. All yeah, right. important. You need to like, get the notification. We're doing yes. this daily. <laughs> so do get your notifications on, right? Yeah. On top of that, mm. we have City Music, City Music which is Day. doing a mm-hmm. daily uh, live stream. Yes, no worries. Woo! <laughs> 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 All right. So we also have City Music, which is doing their daily uh, live stream also on NAM. What's new in NAM? Mm-hmm, all right. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. As you all know, with the uh, COVID nineteen, yeah. uh, the so, NAM uh, is actually going online, and mm-hmm. so they are actually going daily, bringing you up to date on all the newest uh, techs and gizmos and a lot products. of sneak peeks. Yeah. What's gonna come? On, yeah. So guys, do check that out too. All right. And also, before they do that, if you're still interested in all the products, you can check out our website mm-hmm. here ckmusic.com.my yes that Y is gone but MY there you go down there <laughs> down the there picture. yeah <laughs> <laughs> alright yeah. so guys um, if you have any right. more questions mm, yeah. uh, do Keep it hit up. us up mm-hmm. you can always uh, put it on the comments and yeah. we will definitely uh, answer. answer you or text us messages yeah, yeah. right you have our contact numbers you can contact us straight or you can even go through our Facebooks, mm-hmm. any of our social media. Yeah, text us on that and we will come and answer your questions for you. Right? Yeah. Also, we are still here. Yeah. yeah we, we are, also, we are doing this daily. So <laughs> yeah. if it's another stream, you want to ask the previous questions, no problem. Also. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe before we wrap, should we do another like an, one more short conclusion? Like the use case of a dynamic okay. and a condenser. Really so just to, to wrap it up it. for you guys. Yeah. So you'll be covering the Dynamic, right. yeah. A dynamic mic in a short would be something that's good for you if you're going to do your own uh, recordings in a sense of a live setup or mm-hmm. if you also uh, want to do instrument miking or if you're just going to do some karaoke at home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So you want something to eliminate outside noises, mm-hmm. go for the dynamics. Mm-hmm. Right? And they are a lot more easier to power. Yes. If you want to record your vocals, clean vocals, uh, you are a gamer, a streamer, and that you can consider a condenser because it's, they have a more higher clarity and it's a sen- more sensitive diaphragm. But you really need to make sure that you have a really well-treated room and any of your capture device, your sound card, your audio interface has a 48 volt phantom power. If not, it will, can't capture anything. That's... And... Yeah, and it's a XLR. It's either XLR or USB. So don't be fooled because there's a lot of dynamic mic that shake in a condenser also. Mm -hmm. So guys, uh, with that, do stay safe. Thanks Mm -hmm. for everyone who joined us in this live stream. We hope that our live streams are being very educational for y'all. I hope. (laughs) And if you have any questions or any topics that you would like to know more on, hit us up. Yeah. Right? Oh, Brandon. What's up, man? Yeah. Any so difference in right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it does, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. Any difference, hope can help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, guys, with that, do stay safe. Stay uh, safe, sanitize your hands. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. When you're in your open area with uh, people. Follow and SOPs. All. Stay at home. Right? <laughs> and with that. I think that's a wrap. That's a wrap, guys. That's a wrap, guys. <laughs> Goodbye. See you next time. Cheers. Cheers. See you tomorrow. <laughs>